Hey, my name is Ida Fellström and I'm a plant and light expert at Spectra. Today I would like to talk to you about the poster we presented at Light Sim 2021. That is a natural symposium of light and horticulture that happens every fourth year. Uh, this year it was hosted by Swedish, Swedish University of Agriculture and Spectra was proud sponsors. The poster I would like to talk a little bit about is called Different Lighting Strategies for Inducing Red Coloration in Lettuce. The uncertain content is responsible for the red pigmentation in red green lettuce. That is what gives it this beautiful red color, color. The concentration of uncertain, however, um, gives different gradients of coloration, and that is depending on the growth environment of the crop, uh, such as the light quality and quantity. A high uncertain uh, continent may produce a really nice, beautiful red lettuce, but it may reduce absorption of the light and therefore lead to reduction of plant growth. Lights designed for high crop production may not achieve uh, the desired coloration of the lettuce. So therefore, uh, lettuce was first grown under a light spectrum that focused on stimulating high biomass and high crop production. Uh, but that light gave less coloration of lettuce. So we tried at the end of the production to increase the uncertainty continent by using two different lighting strategies to induce the red coloration. We investigated how to induce coloration in lettuce and we tried to increase the uncertainty continent in two different ways. We either put the crop in under high light for two days at the end of the uh, end of production or we put it in under a high blue uh, light under uh, five plus days. The different spectrum that the grows uh, that the plant will grow under was called either production, which was the light that was uh, stimulating a higher uh, crop production. Then we have the high blue that was used as a treatment to increase the uncertainty content by having a high uh, content of blue within the spectrum. And then we have the high light which is a way of inducing the coloration by introducing the crop to higher light than it was grown under and that low intensity was significantly higher almost double amount of light we did this experiment uh, on a red green lettuce and we repeated three times and we collected data for the size of the crop the weight of the crop but also the downstream content so let's start looking a little bit on the results here you can see the size of the crop and the weights of the crop. And if you look on the production light, which is what the light that was supposed to give the highest, uh, the largest size and the larger uh, biomass, we can see on the data that, that was actually accurate and that was happened. Uh, the production was largest in size, but it also had, and it also had the highest biomass. And if we then look on the, the treated lettuces we can start by looking on the ones that was under the high um, high blue light and depending on how long under um, on how long the crop was growing under the high blue light it had an effect on both the fresh weight and the size of the crop the longer period of time uh, the smaller uh, and also uh, the less biomass the crop had the highlight on the other hand uh, was not falling so much behind when it comes to the fresh weight as well as the head size as the production uh, crop. And looking at unseen content, we look on the photos here, we can see that it was a quite big difference just visually, where you have the production light that has less coloration. And then depending on how long the plant's been growing in the high blue, the more intense coloration you can see. But the highest, highest ones visually you can see there is um, the ones that grown under the high light for two days. And if you look on the uncertain uh, concentration as well, we can see that production has the lowest, while uh, the highlight was actually the higher. And then depending on how long the crop was growing under the high blue light, the shorter period of time, the less coloration, the longer period of time, the more coloration the crop had. So the conclusion of this was that the lettuce grown under a high blue spectrum for longer period has the lowest biomass, but it did increase dancing content. Uh, lettuce that uh, would induce coloration of high, 
highlight treated had higher biomass and higher antigen content than the ones that have been treated with a high blue. These results indicate there are several ways to induce red coloration in the lettuce. And growers have, to, have the choice to adopt the best method that is uh, suitable for their growth environments and their growing style. If you want to hear more about the experiment, or if you want to hear more about our grow lights or the different lighting strategies we have produced, please don't uh, hesitate to contact us. Please check out our website for the latest information on our product portfolio, as well as the grower centers where we provide you with a lot of interesting information. Don't hesitate to contact us and thank you for watching and we look forward to hear from you. Goodbye.